Hello everybody, this is Eric Wire from Between the Bolter and Me, and I'm back for another unboxing video. This one is actually the first that we're going to be doing for anything from Age of Sigmar, and I have to say this, I think what I, of all the kind of Age of Sigmar models released thus far, uh, this is probably my favorite, and this is actually them going back and kind of re-envisioning and looking at the orcs in the Age of Sigmar universe, which I guess now they're called Orcs, and I don't know, a couple weeks ago they kind of had the first leaks of these models and this particular one, this Mega Boss, was the first that came out and I was pretty excited to see it and immediately it kind of struck out me, struck me that the kind of master uh, of orcs, Brian Nelson, almost certainly had a hand in creating him and it, I guess this week it's sort of been revealed that it, this model was in fact sculpted by Brian Nelson he had actually sort of redesigned the orc kind of aesthetic back in around 3rd edition in 40k and also Warhammer. But it kind of long been absent from orc kind of model design for a while. But uh, he's back now. Like you can particularly tell just the sort of very expressive face on this guy and the large brutal weapons and whatnot. But not really dramatically overdone. But, yeah, so he looks pretty cool. He's, you can see he's a two-sprue kit here uh, with a pretty large 60 millimeter base here. And, yeah, so they revealed that Brian Nelson created this guy and was involved in kind of the sculpting, or at least uh, involved in kind of overseeing the sculpting of some of the other Auric models in the range. And I think it really shows, and they look pretty astounding. Um, but also... Um, I had found that the, uh, John Blanche was actually responsible for or actually a lot of the Age of Sigmar concept art, including this mega boss here, which was yeah, then turned into a model form by Brian Nelson. But I guess I'll pull the model out here, and I admit I already cut this open because it's a kind of a pain to get open here. But let me pull these screws out and see if I can get out this little instructional pamphlet thing, I don't know how easy it will be here. Alright, there we go. And yes, yeah, so with all their kind of clan pack models, they've started to release these little thing these little pamphlets which are actually in full color, which are pretty nice. They actually have like a detailed instruction sort of thing on how to assemble them and like which areas to put glue on and whatnot, which is pretty nice. Much better than some of the previous assembly stuff if they even included anything at all. And yeah, so here's the back for the rest of it. And they actually tell you that you can scan this QR code to get the war scroll for him, so that's nice too, but we can set this aside here. Yeah, so we have the 60 millimeter base here, which is <laughs> pretty large in itself, but then we have the two sprues here. And I guess we can start with this one here. And yeah, so you can see here that a lot of these new um, iron jaw models, they have a lot of kind of heavier armor, but you can actually see kind of their backs here that are sort of exposed. You can see that here. But, um, and then here's his actual, the orc face, which I don't know, it looks pretty great. Um, very expressive and yelling here, which I guess pretty, uh, pretty fitting for a uh, war boss like this fellow. But then you can see his, his large legs here, which are pretty massive. Um, and then this is actually yeah, his, uh, just the front of him here with kind of the classic iron jaw sort of look. And then he has this big, I don't know, uh, carnosaur, tyranid dinosaur skull on his uh, <laughs> shoulder, which Brian Nelson was uh, had said that he wasn't entirely sure what it actually is, but just that the Mega Boss certainly killed it himself, so it's good, very orky. Um, and he has his, just his little brutish hand here, which looks nice. And I was particularly excited to see that he has this little sort of chain here, or rope uh, necklace thing here, with some teeth and some skulls. And I was pleased to see how it seems like they actually did a good job of internal scale here, keeping the, the skulls actually 
like human sized skulls in comparison to the uh, orc himself, which I think, I don't know, just helps with the immersion of all the models as a whole. Because I feel in the past, GW has been not necessarily that good in that regard. That they'll have like gi these gigantic skulls and such that they're like bigger than most of the other models and such. And it's nice to see that they kind of kept that in mind here. And going on to the other sprue, you can see he has this pretty massive axe here um, that, I don't know, I think it looks pretty neat. And I, I like that it's pretty large and brutal looking, but they didn't really go too overboard and adding tons of extra spikes and such. Like they were a little bit reserved on it, and I think that strengthens the model as a whole. But then, yeah, here's kind of more of like the belly region, his like brutish neck here where you attach the his other head there. Here's sort of the back armor with the rest of that mammoth uh, carnosaur skull and his other leg here. And then interestingly on his kind of the other sort of shoulder pad he actually has a uh, blood what looks like a, a blood letter skull which is interesting in that like I had never really considered much that the demons like their skeletal system like I always thought they would kind of just disappear after being killed because they'd like fade back into the warp but I suppose not regardless it looks pretty neat I think actually on one of the orc brute models there's one for a plague bear that I think's pretty cool but yeah so I mean I guess that's pretty much it just two sprues here like that so it shouldn't hopefully not take too long to assemble but yeah he's pretty large I don't know I can just sort of comparing here's this uh, or my progress on this Imperial Space Marine so you can see here like just that leg is basically taller than him so like yeah he's gonna be pretty impressive but um, hopefully I'll do another unboxing video here of some of the other models particularly the Auric Brutes and Watch out on the blog itself between the Bolter and me. We'll probably have some pictures of the actual assembled models. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening, everybody, and talk to you again soon.